Oh, what is up, Apex Nation, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Master or Master Duel, whatever it's called. It's in the title. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is loud for me for some reason. Holy crap. All right, I can hear myself again. Oh, wait. That's what I'm hearing. Hang on. I always forget to do this. Some days I don't feel like wearing headphones and I turn my monitor volume up. That's what I was hearing. Okay, so I have leveled up my dual pass. That's something I've done. And also I got this. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong. I have Final Fantasy on. How dare I? Uh, default. There. I haven't made a Yu-Gi-Oh one yet. Look at my skates. <laughs> it's my, my dude. I mean, I could have them, but I have skates and it's funnier. That's what I have. Also, we got a quest. If anybody knows how to complete this quest, I would love to hear how to do it. I don't understand this one. Equip a card. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Uh, that sounds... <laughs> never mind. I got that now. I mean, it's literally used to equip spells. Because I used an equip spell, and that's why I'm like... Yeah. Okay, listen. Last night, my brain wasn't working, okay? But I was winning. I won a few duels. And since I did that, we got stuff in the shop now. Also, we have no more secret packs, but we'll work on that. New structure decks are available. We can buy. I don't want them. Nothing new in the special. They're all not there. But we have legendary packs with seven of them. Because I was winning duels. I was winning duels with... I'll show you the deck. It's not good. Leave me alone. I'm still working on it. <laughs> it's the emergence of the monarchs. I'll show you it. But I, I'm still working on it. it. Right now, I still have a problem with... I'm not drawing my... You know, normal monsters, as you can see, these are them. I'm not drawing them to get, like, the plan would be to, like, get Thunder Vessel, because then I can special summon Thunder Vessel, and then summon out you. And then, you know, I could clear the field. And then next turn after that, bring out, although, do I have the light one? Yeah, bring out you. Although... That doesn't really care if it's a light card or not. But, you know, like, bring out one of these bigger guys that were, that I could just tribute a tribute summoned monster. You know? Do things like that. Which is pretty good. But there's also some pretty cool combos I was looking at. Like, um... No. Yeah, Dark Advance. So if you take Dark Advance, which is during the, either player's main phase or battle phase, target one monster in your graveyard with 2400 or more attack and 1000 defense, which everything here has 1000 defense. Add it to your hand. Then immediately after the effect resolves, you can tribute summon one monster with 24 more attack and 1,000 defense and face up attack position. So if you activate that and then activate the Monarch's Storm Forth is during this turn, if you would tribute summon a monster for a tribute summon, you can tribute one monster your opponent controls. So during their turn, they brought this big bad boy out that they want to attack you with. You can activate both of these things, Quick Spell and you know, Trap Card. And make it so you could bring in something, especially if they tributed for it. If they tributed for it, you could bring in one of your big boys. But if they didn't tribute for it and they special summoned or whatever, then you bring in one of these. And then just bring in one of those back. It's got to be, where is it got to be? From your graveyard. So you got to have it in your graveyard, which is kind of annoying to get. So normally these ones would be in your graveyard. I was doing some good stuff with these fire ones. I might do more fire. Because they just they do so much work, so... I might start sacrificing some of these and just build the Fire Monarch deck or something like that. It kind of limit my spells. I think I have too many of them. But it's it's more about just getting these cards, put them in the graveyard, get them back, and stuff like that. So I don't think I have too many spells. Maybe I do. I don't know. I'm still working on the deck. Like I said, it's not done. It still needs some work. But I, I thought that was always a pretty cool combo. And then having this on the field, this annoys so many people. I don't think people read this card or they're just having fun because I play this tribute monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects also neither player could target them with card effects and you cannot summon from the extra deck which is why it's zero because this deck does not revolve around the extra deck at all having this on the field dark hole doesn't work uh there's a bunch of other cards some might have like three cards that destroys my monsters and their monsters none of them work he's played them all in a row and then turn after that he he, sac he uh quit but then you play stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing against a ritual deck. And I played this out. Which is target one card in the field and one card in either player's graveyard. 
And if you do a win monster, which I didn't do, you can do an additional card. You place the first cards on top of their decks. So I put the ritual monster on top of their deck. And then I returned one of my other guys to my hand to summon out next turn. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, wait, where does it go? Yeah, one card and the other uh, Also, top of the deck in the order. Uh, return the additional target, if any, to the hand. Place the first targets. Oh, oh, that's why I was getting back. Okay, I was misread this multiple times, but I get it now. So yeah, that card, I pick whatever I get, goes back to my hand. But you can pick any cards. You can pick a spell, a trap, or well, whatever. I mean, it just really is a good card. Maybe I'll go Fire Wind. Just do a Fire Wind deck. That'd be pretty good. Because this card is good. Because then you put the, the Ritual Monster on top of their deck. And usually with a Ritual, they play their Ritual card. And now they can't summon out anything else. And then all of a sudden they're drawn to Ritual card. Their turn's wasted. And you have a 2800 attack. And you got another card that could possibly help you. <laughs> it's really good. I do like this. It needs a lot more tweaking. But I have won a couple matches. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's open up to begin with those, uh, this one's legacy. Let's open up these legacy packs because I have seven of them and why not? We have seven of them. We can get blue eyes, we can element the hero, signal warrior, whatever you are. Okay. And Jinzo, I mean, we'll just go for it. Who knows what we're going to get? And we got right there, nothing that we know. Hmm. Okay. Only two cards per. Okay, I mean, there are cards I didn't have, right? That's, that's a good way to look at it. Santa Claus. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can special this cover this card from your hand to your opponent's field and defense position. Attributed one monster that they control. If summon this way during the end phase of this turn, draw one card. Ooh. I mean, unless you have a way to get. I mean, that is good situationally, right? If they have something really powerful, you trip it away, bring this out. If you have something more than 2,500 attack to destroy it, it's all good. If not, you gave them a 2,500 defense card that they can mess around with. But that that's funny, Santa Claus. <laughs> I am thinking about looking up a meta deck and building a meta deck after I finish up my uh, Liger deck there. Which I still haven't done. I gotta do that. Pretty sure I have all the cards I need to do it. I just gotta do it. Chaos King Apocalypse. Dawn to Dawn. I mean, at least these packs are free, right? I'd be annoyed if I had to pay for a two card pack. Do, 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 do. Okay, not bad. Bunch of new stuff. And then we'll, we'll, the end of the episode, we'll kick off by buying, uh, probably with this to try to get some of these cards of powerful archetypes, maybe figure out something I want to do with them. I would like to figure out something with a lot more special summoning from like the extra deck and stuff, because it seems like that's pretty dang good. But for now, we'll go back into here and we'll work on. Well, this is clear, but this isn't done because I gotta go back in with the other deck, which I'm not ready for. I'm just having fun, so we'll just go with this one. What's uh, Beckon, Demise, King of Armageddon in Ruin, Queen of Oblivion, who play ply their destruction with different effects, draw a black curtain on the world with their power of destruction. Let's give it a go. Do All right, scenario. Let's read this. Clear, you get cards. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know anything about this archetype or anything. I didn't even look at my camera when I put it back there. That looks good. When a world is about to perish, it is seen on its way by two beings. The first is the red being that envelops in golden light and draws a curtain on the world. I don't have my keyboard ready to hit these screenshots, but now I do. That's cool looking. She 
is an androgynous goddess, garbled in red robes. She is a god with no believers. That's only natural. A world revisited by the goddess Ruin is on path to destruction. She's cool looking. And any intelligent life that she believes in and worship that god would cease to exist. The second is a black being that envelops the world in blue flames, which pulverizes the earth. A towering, omnipotent demon king adorned in black armor. Anipiant, a knob. I, I know the word, I just don't know how to pronounce it. He is a king with no vessels. That's only natural. A world visited by the demon king demise will soon meet its end. Those who would respect and serve that king would soon have their very lives destroyed. Okay, I definitely want to summon out Ruin. Oh, the rituals. Oh, I was just talking about ritual decks. I click you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we get some more things to unlock more stuff. Let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Do, 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 do. Sorry, got distracted. Got very distracted. Anyway, what makes a Demise and Ruin deck unique? Demise and Ruin, ritual monsters, can all be brought out with the ritual spell End of the World. Cool. Demise, which is the dude, allows you to play, allows you to pay life points to destroy all other cards on the field except itself. When you ritual summon this card, end of the world, you may pay 2,000 life points to destroy all the cards on the field. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Ruin has the ability to make another attack once it destroys an opponent's monster in battle. I feel like it went up against you. I feel like you kicked my butt. Oh, da -da -da -da. Pick which one... Pick which one to ritual summon by taking into consideration what your opponent's field and can count a ton of devastation and damage. That's cool. But you have to summon them with end of the world in order to get their effects. Huh. Very cool. So they go first. Alright, so my best would be queen. Yeah, that's the only one I have. Cycle of the world, end of the world. You've drawn end of the world. Activate end of the world and ritual summon. Yeah, but I thought you have to. Well, uh, I mean, I guess I don't ritual summon enough, but use this card to ritual summon. Da, 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 da. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field. Okay, so we have two of them. That's what you can do. How do I like look at the card again? Like that. It's kind of cool. I mean, I might want that as my screenshot. She's really cool. Okay, so activate. End of the world. We'll bring out you. Using you. Do you have a... Do you have a, a thing? No, you really didn't have that much of an animation. Uh, you essentially ritual summon ruin Queen of Oblivion. When it attacks and destroys another, you can attack again. And attack your opponent. Well, what is this? What cycle of the world? This card is used to ritual summon Ruin, Queen of Oblivion, or King Demise. You must also tribute to the, 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 the. During the main phase, except this turn, this card was sent to the graveyard to shuffle. This card into your deck, add one end of the world card from your deck to your hand. Then add one Ruin to, 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 to your hand. Oh. Okay. So you can use this to bring them out, but they won't get this effect because they're not going to use it in the world, but this could be used to get into the world. Okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We can, we can, we can attack again. Uh, activate the effect. Yes. That you can mess up on so badly. Holy crap. I messed up before. It didn't cost me a match, but I messed up on those and, try and ruined a combo I had going. It... I don't know. I felt like I didn't understand what it was asking me. But it's all good. I really like this game. I gotta try it. Swords of Revealing Light. Fun. Jerk. 
Okay. Win ritual summon with end of the world. Okay, so this isn't gonna work the way it wants you, right? You cannot attack right now because of your opponent's sword revealing light. Activate cycle of the world of ritual summon king of the mind. Yeah, but it's not gonna work because it's it's not it's not um end of the world, right? Bye. I might want this. Oh, he's got an effect. Okay, King of... Yeah. Pain, no, but it doesn't work that way. Well, that doesn't work. When you ritual summon this card with End of the World. That was not End of the World. That was Cycle of the World. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. Uh, you could use this to ritual summon them. You must also tribute... Except, uh, uh, it doesn't say anything about this card counts. You can shuffle this card into your deck, add one end of the world card from your deck to your hand. It doesn't say anything about this card's name is treated as. I mean, does it say it in here? No, I was just thinking maybe. They're, they're talking like there's some text issues. Maybe there's a text issue with this card, but feels to me like this shouldn't have worked. I'm not complaining that. I, mean, I, I, I am complaining. <laughs> it feels to me it shouldn't have worked. I did not ritual summon it with end of the world. Look at my skates. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I don't know about that. I like the deck. It's cool. It's fun. But I don't like the fact that's how it worked. All right. Well, let's just get this duel done. But we'll do it with the loner. In exchange for paying 2,000 life points, destroy all cards. This is once you're a huge disadvantage, keep an eye on your opponent's life points and number of cards in the field. Do, 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 do. Eventually, we'll have to come back and work on going through these with our own deck. Whoa, what do we have here? Not enough stuff. What's Renewal of the World? When this card is activated, banish one ritual monster from your deck. You can send this card to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Tribute one monster in your hand or field, or shuffle... Tribute one monster from your hand or field, or shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into your deck, whose level equals to or exceeds the level of the banished monster by this card effect and ritual summon that monster. Add the monster banish by this card's effect to your hand. You can only use one of your protect. So if I do this, I gotta banish one ritual monster from my deck. You can send this to the graveyard and activate one effect. Tribute one monster from your hand or shuffle one we're in. Or shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into the deck, whose level equals to or exceeds that one. Okay, so if I got another ruin, I'm gonna set it. Because if I draw another ruin queen, I could bring out ruin queen. It takes me two turns. I put them both in there, activate the effect, throw it into the graveyard, and then I could bring in ruin. Or I could do it with these and bring out one of these. The cycle of the world. What's this called? Renewal of the world. Uh, this card's name becomes Ruin Queen of Oblivion while in your hand or on the field. If this card is Ritual Summit, it can make up to two attacks on the monsters during the battle phase. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Ritual Monster you control. While it's face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate in effects when your Ritual Monster clears an attack. When this card is normal or flip summon, you can add one ritual monster or spell from your deck to your own. Oh. <laughs> yes. So I have uh, two fours, which is an eight. So I can bring in queen right now. Well, I can bring in... What are you? Supreme Queen of Oblivion. Cycle of the world. This card name becomes screwed as well as the field. While this ritual monster is on the field, ritual monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. If all monsters used to ritual summon were ritual monsters, it can make a second attack during the battle phase. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage equal to that monster's original attack. Ooh, well, that's pretty cool. So that can be summoned using Cycle. Which is this one. But I need this one. Oh, 
I don't know if I should use that trap card or use anything else, you know? I think I'll wait a turn. There's no reason to bring it out now. Yeah, I'll wait a turn. There's no reason to bring it out now just in case your opponent does something stupid, you know? <laughs> so we'll wait. We'll, I don't mind. Sonic Bird. Uh, I mean, when this card is activated, banish one ritual monster from your deck. Um, sure, we'll do it. I'm going to try to use that to bring out... Should I try to use it to bring out one of the big boys? Let's see if I can use it to bring out you. We'll see. We'll see if I can do that. I'm curious on it. I don't know what that is. Oh, into the world. And that is why I didn't bring nothing up. Alright, so the problem with that is I chose the wrong card to bring out. I definitely chose the wrong card to bring up. If I could draw the other one, I'd be happy. I did not. Oh, I have extra cards? Well, I have extra cards for the sake of this. And I'll banish six. Uh, no, I don't want to activate the chain. Dang it. In prep okay, well, this isn't bad. I'll set this. In preparation of rituals, add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand and add one ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand whose name is listed on that. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, cancel that. I definitely messed up though. So I could bring in, oh wait a minute. I could bring in Cycle. And because of Cycle, I should be, oh well, I can just bring in you, I guess. Okay, so what I messed up on Maybe I messed up one. I'll just try this. All right, so I can add the Banished Monster effect to your hand. Okay. So now I got Supreme, which does what? It cannot be destroyed by battle if all were used to ritual summon. You do not need to pay to activate its effect. Once per turn, you can destroy as many cards. As many other cards on the field as possible, and if you do, for 200 damage. Oh, well, let's, let's do that. From your field. Okay, so if I activate end of the world. Uh, I like to bring up this one. I'm gonna use uh, I'll just use her. I'm trying to bring up the other one, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. I did mess up because I put that on the field. I should not have put that trap down. Okay. Well, wait, if I activate that. Uh, or exceed the level of ritual monster you want to summon. So this will exceed these two. It won't exceed the 10. This is a tenor. That's an 8, so it won't happen. So I need to have one of these on the field as well. It's not going to have to activate the effect. Tribute one monster, destroy one monster on the field. Ooh. Okay, so that pretty much just uh, reset it, but at least I have cards in my hand. <laughs> there, what you got? Okay. Okay, what do you do? If this card is sent from your field to grave it, add one monster at 1500 left. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to summon you and start doing damage. Oh, or I could use you to bring out one of you. If this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one ritual monster you control while face up in the field. Your opponent cannot activate to clear an attack. Uh, destroy one face up monster in the field. If this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one. Okay, 
so I think the best bet is to bring a U, I guess. Although, do I want to? I mean, this. I mean, if I get enough cards, I could possibly bring out that. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to bring out film. Is that a quick spell? No. That's just a ritual spell, not a quick spell. Okay, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna try. Except if I could bring out. Ah, man, it's, it's a difficult one, but we'll, we're trying. Ooh, okay. Another queen. Again, I'm just gonna try. Worst case, that goes to the graveyard, and then I get other cards back. So I get another card back, and I can do it again. So I don't mind waiting. Not getting what I want, but I don't mind waiting. Okay, that's good. That's a good card. Let's activate that. Banish six. Couple more cards. Okay, here we go. What do you do? Reveal one virtual monster from your hand. The equipped monster becomes a reveal monster's level until the end of the turn, even if this card leaves the grave. If this card stays in the graveyard because the equipped monster is tributed, you can target one monster your opponent controls to destroy it. What? That's an amazing card. What do you do? Add one field spell from your deck to your hand. Well, what field spell do I have to add to my hand? I have this. Once per turn, you can target one ritual monster you control. Show one ritual monster your hand until the end of the turn. The ritual, the level shown, becomes a targeted monster until the end of the turn. If this card leaves the field, once per turn, if ruin or if ruin or demise, is ritual summon on the field. Except during the damage turn, you can activate one effect. Draw one card. Destroy one card on the field. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. I'm kind of liking this deck. I just like this synergy of decks, right? That's what makes me happy is synergy. So, once per turn, you can target one ritual monster. You can oh, ritual monster. Ritual. Well, I don't have to do ritual monster with this, right? Yeah, I don't. So, I have to make this. Bam. I equip you. Activate the effect. I'm gonna show you my big boy. It's now a level 10. So now I can activate Cycle of the World. Uh, I'm gonna special summon you. By getting rid of you. And now I have Demise. I have big boy Demise. Woo -hoo -hoo, Supreme King. And then that is done. So now, which effect to break in the world? Draw one card, destroy one card in the field. Okay, I'm going to destroy a card in the field, and I'm going to destroy this one. And now, from your deck to your hand. I'm going to go with this one, because this one's pretty good. So I can get all the cards out in the field. Now, what do you have... Okay, so I could pay 2,000 life points to deal out and do stuff, but I don't want to. And I could actually make her a different level, which I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't want, I don't want to do that. That one trap card, I'm going to accept the trap card and deal 3,000 damage. It works for me. I have nothing to play. Right, that's pretty cool. I mean, I think you need to do it better, but, you know, it's all good. So now what I could do is a monster reborn. Can you use Monster Reborn on Ritual Monsters? I never knew this. We're about to find out. You're telling me I could bring in another demise? Um, let's bring up the Queen for fun. Ooh, I never saw that card's effect. Basic attack, bam. So now, if I summon out you, right? If I summon out you, like this, yes, and then I, I grab. Ooh, I need both of these though. I do need both of these. Okay, well I had a chance, right? I really wanted to summon out her. Because I mean, I could activate the effect, show you, make you that, and then I could have made you a ten. And then if I have the card to use it as well. But I don't. Still very, very cool. Let's crush you with the big one. 
That's cool. I like synergy, man. Synergy is awesome. Cards just thematically work together. You don't just throw the greatest cards out there in one deck and call it good. They're just, it's thematic. It's nice. That was cool. Lunder deck cleared. 150 of the Lighty Boys. I probably can unlock this, I think. Yeah, I could. But we're not going to right now. Instead, we're just going to go read this scenario here. And then I get this deck, which is nice. So I wouldn't mind upgrading it. The Red Bean Ruin, Queen of Oblivion, brings to the world a revised reversal of time. <clears throat> when evil has spread throughout civilization, and when the world's end is in sight, the Red Bean returns to the world returns the world to a state before that cause of evil occurred. That's really cool. There are cases in which this reversal may restore the world to a primordial state full of intelligent light life in this way the world is reborn with hope that life will transpire on the correct path that's very interesting that's a very very interesting power she has for those living in the current world this would be synonymous with extinction the process of rewinding the world to promote the power or the proper development of life what if the world continues it takes the wrong path, no matter how many times it restarts? The dark, the black being demise, King of Armageddon, brings about the true end of the world. Its formidable power crushes the world's very foundation and eradicates all living things. There remains no trace that the world was there, only absolute nothingness. The Queen of Oblivion, the King of Armageddon. What lies in the heart of a being who witnessed the destruction of the world countless times over eons? That remains unknown to those who disappear. That's a really cool story. And we got the structure deck, being who sees the end of the world. I definitely want to mess around with that. I, I, I've never messed around with ritual decks before. I always thought they were underpowered. Found a new car packed. Okay. Uh, no. All right, so we're gonna call that good for now. We did Ruin and Demise. We got the Mystery of Megagolith next. We got a few more to do, and then we had to go back through and keep going, you know? We gotta, we gotta finish these. But for now, maybe we got some missions done? Yeah, we did. Claim, what are we gonna get? 10 gems, yeah! What are we gonna get from this one? 400 gemmers, nice. That does not put us at enough to get three sets of packs, but we still have enough to get two. I mean, we do have this one, which why would I, I mean, I guess it's rituals. Oh, it's got the big boy. Ooh. Oh, look at you though. You can ritual summon this card with a megalith card. Hmm. I mean, I like the deck, but I really want to work more on my uh, uh, Monarch deck and the other one. But So I'm going to go with Stalwart Package. I mean, it's given how strong and easy to use cards. We're going to go with 10 of these, hopefully get some secret cards or secret packs, and work from there. And then maybe get something else. We'll see. Okay, we got actually quite a bit of cards here. Double trap hold, nothing new. This is rare. The only new card is the rare, at least we got a secret pack out of it. But, I mean, it's always if you get rare or uh, extra cards. Oh, double trap hold. Okay. But so if we get extra cards of cards. We can always uh, dismantle them and get a bunch of points to make other cards. So it's never a bad thing just to keep on getting cards. This game does a very good job of making sure you have enough points, enough cards and all that to actually build decks that could be competitive as long as you're actually trying. Or Googling. You look really cool. What do you do? Spell counter. So if you're a spell, a spellcaster deck. You look so freaking cool.
you look pretty cool too. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even gone into like Link monsters and things they can do, and I've seen other people do crazy things with them. I've beaten a deck that's done some pretty crazy things with them. And yes, I am bragging. <laughs> Element the Hero Shadow Mist. Alright, at least we got a new card. Six uh, secret packs so far found. That's always good. Kinda hoping we get the one with the the monarchs in it. But if we don't, it's all good. That was not the greatest pack in the world, now was it? Maybe we'll get the one with the serpent on it. Cause then we get some serpent cards and snakes and all that, which would be cool. Yeah, Mr. Invoker of Madness. Ooh, pretty. Nice. All right. We got eight now. Choo, choo, choo. Do, 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 do. Anything new? No. <laughs> Again, not the worst thing in the world. Okay, at least we got a new card. What the heck are you? You're like a weird scorpion thing. It's kind of cool. I got another one. Whoa, Thunder Dragon Dark. What are you? Quick effect, you discard this card, add one Thunder, Dragon Dark from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished or sent to the field to the graveyard, you can add one Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand, except Thunder Dragon Dark. You can only use one Thunder Dragon Dark. Once why is this one of Thunder Dragons like that good of a deck that it gets backup? A five star backup. Wow. I, I, I don't know. Something that I don't understand. I gotta see it, I guess. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Last pack of these 10. At least we got a new card, I guess. Another one. Not bad. Ooh. We got the rare shiny we can get. It's got the rainbow border, I guess you can call it the shatter effect. I don't remember what they called it, but nice! That's the rarest shiny you can get. Alright, we got new card packs. <gasps> Roaring Thunder. Maybe I can grab that. Ooh, but Moonlight Avian Dance looks cool. We'll see. Let's go back. Let's go into Secret Packs. Let's take a look. So, we can go with something on the line of... Although, I don't know, Celestial Dragon looks pretty dang cool. Roaring Thunder. So what can we do? Thunder Dragon Titan. Three Thunder Dragon monsters. You must either fusion summon or special summon by banishing one Thunder monster from your hand and one Thunder Fusion monster you control. Except Thunder Dragon Titan. In which case, you do not use polymerization. When a thunder monster effect is activated in your hand, even during damage step, quick effect, you can destroy one card in the field. If this card will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish two cards from your graveyard instead. If this card. Oh. Interesting. And then some of those other cards actually take effect from being banished from the graveyard. Colossus. A trivia when thunder. Monster you don't keep on this card cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except by drawing them. Cards cannot be added to your opponent's main deck to your hand. Oh. From the main deck to your opponent's hand. If this card would be destroyed by battle card if you banish one thunder monster from your graveyard. Okay. They really rely on thunder monsters, which makes sense. Thunder, dragon, fusion. Fusion summon one thunder fusion monster from your extra deck by shuffling the fusion materials listed into on it into the deck. 
from among the cards in the field, in your graveyard, and or face up banish monsters. Whoa, face up. Wow, you could use banish monsters. During your main phase, except for the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one thunder monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Well, I mean... Well, yeah, of course you're only going to use... You can only use each effect of Thunder Dragon Fusion once per turn. That, I think, is a misprint. It should be once per game, right? Because, I mean, you're banishing it to your... You're banishing it. You can banish this card to your graveyard. From your graveyard. You're only going to use that once. Because it's, it's gone. It, you're banishing it. Because it's each effect of Thunder Dragon Fusion once per turn. Well, um, yeah, okay, sure. I don't know why that has to be written, but sure. What about you? What's Celestial Dragon? It's a ritual. Your opponent cannot target this card with the card effects. If the total level of monsters used to ritual summon are two or less, you can attack all special summon monsters your opponent controls once. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish monsters from your graveyard whose combined attack equals exactly 2,000 or 4,000. Target one face-up card your opponent controls. For every 2,000 attack of the total, send the cards to the graveyard. You can only use what? Oh, so if you do 2,000, it's one. If you do 4,000, you can select two, and they go right to the graveyard. Interesting. Very, very precise deck. But if you build it correctly, I guess it really wouldn't be. Can I click this? What's this do? Ooh. Huh. Seekers of Witchcraft, Warp, Futuristic Creations, Moonlight. Oh yeah, Moonlight Dance. It's supposed to be, it looks like it's powerful. Luna Light, Panther, Dancer, plus two Luna Light monsters. I'm interested. I mean, because you're using Luna Light, and that's what I was just talking about. How I like cards that are thematic, or decks that are thematic, I should say. Okay, maybe we'll go with Luna Light. Oh, then we can do Luna Okay, yeah, we're doing Luna Light. Because we can start doing pendulum summons and stuff. I want to do that. Yeah, we're opening 10 packs of Luna Light. That sounds like another deck I wouldn't mind messing around with. No, I don't really know what we're going for besides the Luna Light cards. Which White Rabbit? That's that's pretty cool. What are those? Oh, that's our hammer. Oh, okay. What the crap? <laughs> it's funny looking. Ooh, but okay. Necromancer, but we also got Serpent Suppression. Face up attack position monsters with zero attack. Your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by battle with... Wait, what? Face up attack position monsters with zero attack. Your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by battle with reptilian monsters. So it's just a way to constantly dish out attack. I think I get that. Must be some synergy there. Another Luna Light, another Luna Light, another Luna Light. Ooh, another Luna Light. Panther Dancer. We needed that. You look cool. Hey, I remember you guys from the H2O stuff. Ooh, purple butterfly. Nice. Blue cat. That's another new one. Awesome. Oh, wolf, which is a, it's a one. That's not bad at all. Having a one. Uh, beat the, the pendulum effect. If a lunar light monster you control attacks a defense position monster and inflicts piercing damage. Nice. Oh, wait, but the pendulum effect is you cannot pendulum summon monsters that have lunar light monsters. This effect cannot be negated. Once per turn, you can fusion summon one lunar light monster, fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing a fusion monster listed in the field or graveyard. 
Whoa, that's awesome. And that's just a, a common, right? No, they don't have the symbols. But, I mean, the N, I mean, N isn't, I mean, I guess it's a, no, because there's, there's what? Common, uncommon, rare, super rare, ultra rare. So N must be, well, that's right, because they only have so many orbs. So I guess N is neutral. I don't know. But that's something I can make then. That's not bad at all. An emerald bird. Cute. I don't know. I'm not reading all these cards effects, of course, but still, anything we can get for a Luna Light is nice. I don't have to make it. Another Luna Light Wolf. Awesome. Purple Butterfly. Rare. Or at least hollow name, I should say. Uh, Sapphire Swallow, I think, is new as well. I don't think we have that yet. Oh, but that's Luna... Uh, Lyris. Just... What can it do? Uh, level 1... Wait. You can special summon both this card and a 1 level 1 Winged Big Monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Lyris Shadow once per turn. A Wind Exceeds Monster that was summoned using this card in the field has this effect. Target 1, the Lyris Monster in your graveyard attached to this card's material. Okay, but a wind exceeds monster, huh? Interesting. I don't know if that's a good synergy between them or not. I don't really know. Or is that two separate decks? Scape ghost. <laughs> you can special summon any number of black sheep tokens. Oh, that's funny. There's sheep. There's scape ghost. Oh, that's great. Galaxy Brave, look how cool you look, dude. Oh, we also found three secret packs. I have not been paying attention to that. Look at you! Big monkey. Oh, Black Sheep. That's new. And you're also the... You you really do look different, I should say. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, we got the rare version of it. Okay, well, we got a place that... <laughs> We're good now. Oh, there's Crimson Fox, which we've gotten before, I guess. Bada -booda 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 -booda. XX, uh, XX stuff. I think I've heard that before. Sounds familiar, at least. Okay, that's three of that one, though, because we got one of the rare ones. So I could technically get rid of one. Another Emerald Bird, Blue Cat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Barrage Blast, which seems like it's a really long-worded thing. Okay, here we go. An Ultra Rare. Come on, give me the card that's on the path. Sacred Warrior. I thought we had that already. Pajama Red. Okay, good. A Luna Light Tiger. It's a five. It's not exactly the best unless it's a good monster. Once per turn, you can target one Lunalite monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it cannot attack. Its effect is negated and also destroyed in the turn. But that's not bad, because you can special summon a Lunalite monster from your graveyard and use it for fusion summon or stuff like that. I like it. And it's another pendulum. I gotta start using the pendulum stuff. Oh, there's Lunalistic. Or Lyristic. Two level one monsters. Gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and target one spell trap card your opponent control, shuffle it into the deck. The start of the damage step if another monster you control battles. You can detach any number of monsters from this card. That control gets 300. So really, it seems like with that other card, what, it could be 1500 attack? But I mean, first turn, 1500 attack, possibly could do more if you have other synergistic cards for this. Maybe it's not worse. Come on! No, but I mean, it's another one of these ones. Gains 500 for each attack. If your opponent special summons a monster except during the damage step. Detach one material and target one of those special summon monsters return to the hand. <laughs> oh, if this card is in your possession, is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, target one other glitter sequence in your graveyard, add to your hand. That's kind of cool. Because it's also wind, because they said, you know, wind. That That's that's mean. Your opponent special summons a monster, except on the damage step. 
Detach the material. Put it back to your hand. <laughs> That's just mean. All right. That wasn't terrible, but I still want more Luna Light. Buda, 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 buda. Uh, Luna Light. Okay, well, that's at least a place out of that we know about. Actually, one extra because it's not new. So that's not bad. Luna Light. Another trap card for it. Okay. Shining Jaws just using Luna Light stuff. One Utopia. Okay. Maybe I'll get enough points for us to unlock another one of these 10 start of next episode or something. Alien Hunter, you look so freaking cool. If this card destroys a monster with an A counter by battle, it can attack once again another time. Okay, cool. My black sheep, so we're good on those. Luna Light Perfume, nice. Luna Light Fusion, we needed that. Okay, that's good. Neo, uh, ooh. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. If this card is actually summon using Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Whoa. Wait, what? As any of its materials, all other face-up cards currently on the field have their effects negated. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Detach all materials from monsters your opponent controls. Then this card gains 500 attack for each. It also can attack up to that many times. Whoa! That seems powerful. But also very difficult to bring out because three level eights. That's insane. That's an insane card. That's nice to get. I'm not even gonna read it. I'm just gonna assume it's a okay, here we go. Second ultra rare. Can we get the card on the Ooh, Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon? That's cool looking. Okay, well, that's two of the rare ones. If I want to put Black Sheep in there, I didn't read it, so I have no idea. Okay, we got a powerful ogre. Oh, wow, that's our third one of these super shiny ones. That's cool. And... Hey, there we go. Luna Light, Leo Dancer. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's cool. One Luna Light Panther Dancer plus two Luna Light Monsters. And what do we get for new packs? We got three strike success, nebula cyclone, infinite void looks really cool, specialist specters, dreadnought, moonlight, Avalon, dance. Very, very cool. I definitely want to grab this one again. And it's cool because it has an effect as well. So I'm missing that trap card. I've got that. That's the Lunalistic thing again. I don't know if they should have. Nah, I probably shouldn't be running two synergistic decks in the same deck, you know? All right, so I don't think I'm missing too many more of those. I would probably still buy one more. I don't think I quite need to. Uh, Just in case, did we complete a mission? Maybe we can get more. We did complete a mission. Probably find so many secret packs. And it's only worth 50. We gotta find nine more to get another 50. So there's a hundred secret packs overall. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Win duel in solo mode. So we win one more, it's at two more. It's, so that's an extra 200 coming in. And then I can maybe work on these. These just happen. I want this car though. Special summon a monster. I gotta get special summon 30 monsters. I want a car. Uh, duel and rank duels. Okay, so I'll have that because I'll, I'll can go do two matches. That's no problem. Uh, proceed to a solo gate. Okay, one more. We get a, a legacy pack. Increase duelist level to level 6 is 400. Okay, that's not terrible. We're almost there. I lied. <laughs> We're not almost there. I was thinking Duelist Pass, which is so easy to level this thing up. This levels up so fast. I mean, I'm barely playing the game, and I'm already 16. About to be 17. 
definitely seems like that's easy to do. But I gotta end the episode. Pretty cool though. We found another deck to work on, the Luna Light. I don't mind the um, demise and queen, the queen and king one there we just did. That, that was pretty cool. Overall, I'm liking the idea. Only thing I don't like is I saw this here. I feel like I have 20 decks. Not a big fan of that. Hopefully that increases. They are still working on this. I mean, every day there's notifications about some problem they've detected that they're working on with issues and stuff like that. They're always, and there's, there's maintenance coming up. Where'd it go? Right here. Maintenance coming up tomorrow. Or wait, no, today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 10. 10 to 2 in the morning. So that's not, you know, I mean, that, that's good. That means they're fixing things, which is great. Keep going, keep fixing things. They keep adding things to the store. And I do like that we get premium currency so we can use it on the store. Eventually, I imagine that's going to run out on us, though. Oh, I also got new card sleeves from one of the packs. Oh, not one of the packs, from one of the um, missions. I mean, I wouldn't mind buying one of these, but... I don't know what I would buy. I kind of like Ritual Cage. Kind of looks nice. Gear Town looks kind of cool, too. But Ritual Cage just looks really nice for being ca or foreign cap. Oh, it's got a koi pond. Okay, I might buy foreign capital. It looks really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Whoa. <laughs> Man, if I buy that though, I can't buy more card packs next episode. Ah, I like it. I don't really like the volcano. I've seen that. I do like Ritual Cage though too. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, but foreign cap. I might get foreign capital. I don't really want to buy any of these guys. He's the only one I'd probably buy. He's kind of cool. I've seen Dark Magician everywhere. Protectors, I don't quite care about too much, but they're only a hundred, so that's not terrible. Icons, I could care less about this one. None of these are very interesting to me. It's just these are most the well these are the most expensive. I mean I like my skates, they're hilarious to me, so let's all keep them. I don't know. Things to think about anyway, I gotta end the episode, it's getting too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and show your support. If you're new and you haven't, subscribe for more content. Feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Y'all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?